We're going to be using a Chrome extension called Jobalytics to analyze the job descriptions and see if it matches with the resume. So you can see that I've already uh, uploaded a resume, even Garcia.pdf, and we're going to look for um, jobs and then see if the resume matches. Um, but before before you look for jobs, you're going to have to download the Jobalytics extension. So you go to Chrome extensions. And it will take you to Chrome Web Store. And then you look for Jobalytics. And then Jobalytics shows up. It's already installed on this computer. But if it's not installed in your computer, you just go in and just make sure it's installed. That's all. So right now, if I remove it from Chrome, and then it, it will ask me to reinstall. So likewise, just do it for yourself. Reinstall it, come back, and then we're going to look for developer jobs. Okay, software engineer, hybrid work in Toronto, and then you click the Jobalytics extension icon here, and then you analyze the job description. It's only a 34% match. Uh, I've actually updated the resume a little bit. So let's just go, it's a docx now, and then we're going to analyze. It's a 41% match now so likewise so what you do is uh it, it will show you the keyword matches like for example right now you can see that spring boot software engineer all these terms are in a resume and what's missing is all this stuff python mysql and all that stuff so if you don't know python you don't have to put it in you don't need a hundred percent resume match every time you just need like 60 or 70 percent that will be fine right so there are things that you could pick up later. For example, Elasticsearch is not a huge deal. And, and he already knows JavaScript as per the resume, so it's not a huge deal to pick up Vue.js. So you could put that in Vue.js, and you could put in software architecture as well, because every software engineer knows a little bit of software architecture. And REST, REST is also, it's an API. So REST API, so if you have ever done any kind of API testing or API creation, you probably use REST API. So that could be in, and React can also be put in the resume because he already knows JavaScript, so you can put in React. And Python, all that stuff, like depending on, use your own use your own intelligence and common sense um, to decide what keywords you should put in and what keywords you should avoid. And then once you've put in all the keywords, uh, keywords um, just upload the resume again and then look for the resume match so if it's over like 60 or 70 percent that's pretty good so let's just go look at a different job description dawn infotech dawn infotech and analyze the job description it's a 64 percent match right so full stack you can all easily put in all these all these terms except for compliance unless you've worked in compliance you can put in full stack you can put in computer science you can put in computer engineering somehow you're you're gonna have to uh, decide where you should put that in so that's the only uh, challenge here so you should you should uh, look at the resume just find places where you can put in all these keywords that I just mentioned that's all and then once you've done that you're ready to apply you can use a cover letter or nobody even does I mean Nobody reads cover letters anymore, so that's not exactly necessary. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Download this extension, uh, upload your resume, modify your resume for every job, and then make sure you apply with that specific resume. That's all. Thank you for watching.